until breaking ground in November of 2016. And now here it is in all its glory. Spectacular SoFi Stadium here in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Today, it's a matchup in the AFC West between the Kansas City Chiefs. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And the Los Angeles Chargers. KC's offense ready to take over. now on first down. They complete it to Hill. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Gets this one to Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, that didn't take very long. You mentioned you have to keep him under wraps. Avoid the big play is what you said, and here he makes one in the first quarter. Yeah, you can't let this become a habit. Otherwise, you know what will happen? They'll flat out take over this game. Working from the gun, Mahomes. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 12 more yards there and another first down. I don't think there's any doubt that we'll see a little bit more of McCall Hardman as a receiver in year two. First year, used him a little bit as a gimmick. Throw it to him occasionally, some jet sweeps, maybe some return game. But he really came on late in the season. 538 yards, six touchdowns. A pretty darn good year for a rookie receiver and really made his huge impact as a return guy. Earned a Pro Bowl nomination in his first season. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards-Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And Robinson with a big catch. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 17-yard line. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Okay, I'm not so great at math, but I just looked over at our statistician Marvin, and he signaled to me five for five to get things started here on this opening drive. Where I come from, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now, what do you do defensively to adjust? Well, this is where you've got to make a decision as, your defensive, as a defensive coordinator. Do you really get after the quarterback? Or maybe you tighten down on the receivers, bump them off of their routes, chip away at their timing so things aren't as precise as they've been so far in this game. First and goal at the two-yard line. From the two, here's first and goal. They'll try to run with Edwards Hilaire. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Extra point safely through, and that makes the score 7-0.
Harrison. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Joe Reed returning. And they will ring it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Chargers ready to take over. At their own 28-yard line. Taylor and the Chargers come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. With Melvin Gordon moving on to Denver, Austin Eckler is officially the Chargers' number one option at the running back position. Gordon spent a lot of time holding out last year. Eckler took full advantage with a breakout season. 92 receptions, 993 yards, and eight touchdowns. He was in the top 10 in the league in receptions, receiving touchdowns, and all-purpose yards. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Charger first. To back good plays, have them on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Taylor. He'll get this to Eckler. And he'll be on just a yard or two shy of the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. I don't mean to jump in on you, partner, but they didn't waste any time getting downfield, did they? I mean, a nice big play there. Three plays, three successful plays in plus territory. Now this defense on its heels a bit. It seems like they had something targeted there, doesn't it? It's like, okay, we've got a matchup we like coming right out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Tackle made there by Frank Clark, the ball carrier. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? On second down, Eckler down right around the 25. And Eckler, the ball carrier. Damian Wilson on the tackle. That's a gain of three. Brings up third and three. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Out of the gun, it's Taylor. Open man, it's Allen. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. Well, that good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. That throw's not going to get them a whole lot, but that really didn't matter, did it? They got what they needed on that throw. Picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. Well, and you talked to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. And flags come in as he gets four for about three yards. Now let's check on the Second and 14. Five yard game. Hunter Henry entered the league. People were really looking for him to establish himself as one of the best tight ends in the NFL. Ability to run and catch and make plays in open space. But the biggest obstacle he's had is just staying on the field. Ended up missing all 2018 due to injury. When he's right, he is one of the better tight ends and better targets in the AFC West. It's a seven-yard pickup. They'll be looking now to third and six. They've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. They snap it at one. Now it's Taylor. 
Flushed out right. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. A 31-yard attempt. Badgley able to knock this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. Chargers. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. converted the field goal. Now he handles the kickoff duties. Here's Nicole Hardman. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Sammy Watkins is a former first-round pick in the NFL, and he sure reminded us during Kansas City's run to the playoffs last season. Ten catches in the AFC Championship game and a 98-yard receiving game in Super Bowl 54. He did talk about possibly stepping away and getting some time in the offseason, but Kansas City, very happy to have him back in their lineup and in their fold. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards there, first down. Tyreek Hill certainly makes the front office look good when they spend a fifth-round pick on a guy. Then in his first four seasons, four Pro Bowl nominations. Anytime he touches the football, he's a threat to take it the distance. Hard to get on the ground one-on-one -on -one in the open field. If you miss... And the Chargers rush is going to get there. Down he goes. Kenneth Murray gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big. But sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, you know, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against Trying to find his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. He's picked off at his own 37. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. After the interception, here's Taylor. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. K.J. Hill, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Second and ten, it's Taylor again. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to it and forcing a third down. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Taylor. That's into the hands of Eckler. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sensed that the screen pass was available. 
Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. And this is complete. It's Allen. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. It's Tyron Taylor there to Keenan Allen. And the Chargers have taken the lead. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough. Otherwise, they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Chargers 10, Chiefs 7. taken about a yard deep and he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports the Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive a tale of two extremes already in this game a touchdown pass on their opening drive followed by an interception last time out now it sounds like things balance out right this is that, that mythological thing that we do if you have a candy bar have a diet soda with it it balances it out and we know that's not really true right because the interception that sting lingers a little bit longer got to come out now and put together some nice plays so from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. Stiff-armed him. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got him. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 46-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. It's Hill. Complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 37. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. So that'll back him up five. Delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he'll find his tight end, Seals Jones. It'll be a gain of 15 on the play. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Good position to be in here, second and inches. They'll run. It's Edwards Alaire. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. 
It's a gain of five on the play, but it'll be second down. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Five yards remain on second down. the pro bowler in there to get him to the ground the decision that time was to keep it and not a great one but once he got out right with the football there was just nowhere to go and i felt bad for his offensive line there because their job is to create creases right create openings but if those defenders keep their shoulders square to the line of scrimmage and refuse to be budged that's the end result no place for him to turn up field no chance to gain any yardage and he will take it on in for a chiefs touchdown Patrick Mahomes with a touchdown pass to Sammy Watkins. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. And that makes it 14-10. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they'll watch this one fall in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. There have been points on the board. We just saw back-to-back -to -back touchdown drives. I love it. I'm high-fiving our statistician, Christian McLeod, and you, you're, you're angry. You're a defensive guy. If you met one of my defensive coordinators, God rest his soul, I'm surprised he isn't in this booth right now wanting to really take you on. This is not football <laughs> the way he sees it. I he wants it. a good old-fashioned kicking game, defense, field position, and we're getting an up-and-down-the-field game here. I'll take him. Where's, where's his tombstone? <laughs> <laughs> Boot Hill, baby. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 49-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Taylor. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. Incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. The Chargers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Operating from the gun, Taylor. It's Williams on the catch. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Fourth down and on is Ty Long to punt. Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 40. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. 
to throw on second and six. Mahomes looking left side and he's got a man. It's Watkins. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On first down, Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. To Nicole Hartman. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. And again, it's Mahomes. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Chris Harris. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Deep for the Chargers, Desmond King. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the, at the 15 yard line. Not too bad. At their own so out come the Chargers. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now Taylor on first down. He's got a man, that's Keenan Allen. Seven yards, the pick up there. I enjoy watching Keenan Allen play. Such passion, such drive, such physicality. 104 receptions last year. 1,199 yards, six touchdowns. He's made three straight Pro Bowl appearances. In addition to three straight seasons, over 1,100 yards receiving. I don't know how you rate him, but defensive players, they rate him awfully high. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. The Chargers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. It's a first down following a gain of three. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done. And they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. On first down, it's Taylor. And now he'll tuck it and run. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Now they'll throw with Taylor. Well, this is caught by Williams. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. remain for second down from midfield now here's Taylor steps away 
And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Alex Okafor able to get in there and drop him behind the line. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Ty Long to punt for the Chargers. Miko Hardman, pro bowler last year as a rookie, is deep for KC. Here's Ty Long now to punt this one away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. They got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 20-yard line. Second and five. Working from the gun, Mahomes. They complete it to Hill. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Mahomes now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And Travis Kelsey unable to pull it in. That'll bring up second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now it's Mahomes again. Wide open is Watkins. He's got him. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 26. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Mahomes now on first down. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Sammy Watkins, the intended target, and it's second down. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Looking again for Watkins, and this time that's complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. 
Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. That's who is running back, Edwards Hilaire. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 37. Butker's kick here is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. At the 29-yard line. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. It's Eckler again. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Bring oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. They'll throw on first down with Taylor. He completes it to Henry. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Now this one over the middle and into the hands of his tight end complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 23. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Running on first down, Eckler. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Taken down. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Once more, here's Eckler. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Throwing 
Starting now, Taylor on first down. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, LA. Virgil Green there to make the grab. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. Badge Leon for the extra point. Gets it to go, and we're all even. 17 apiece. That ties the game at 17. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. Here's Hardman on the return. And able to get this out to the 25. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll drop to throw. And this is caught by Watkins. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. It was Melvin Ingram that time who shot in to bring him down. I love how Melvin Ingram plays a game of toughness and a motor that absolutely will not quit. Knows how to get around all types of obstacles to get to the quarterback. He's had at least seven sacks a season going back to 2015 and been a pro bowler for three straight years. Throwing his Mahomes on third. He'll find Clyde Edwards alone. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. On first and 10, it's Taylor for Keenan Allen. That's complete. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. One of the selling points of the in route is against a quarterback, a really nice sight line to his receiver, and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. there and a first down. Looked like a pretty smart decision that time to keep the football by the quarterback. It was because you saw how the runner got swarmed. So you've got to pull the ball from his arms, keep it yourself, and get what you can. 
and the most underrated player on this play is the running back because even if he doesn't have the ball he has to act like he does in order to attract the defense yards on this series after the delay of game first and 15 Taylor a handoff it's Eckler it's a five yard pickup so essentially they get the penalty yardage back and it's back to second and ten that's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run and a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play you're going to smother it but a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a pickup of 17 in the first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. A handoff, it's Eckler. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Derek the third-year defensive tackle out of Florida State, Derek Nadi, with a nice play there. Started every game for Kansas City during their Super Bowl run a season ago. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. From the gun, it's Taylor. He can run for it, and he will. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. I like this effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. to the 25 and now here comes Kansas City and a tight game after punting last time see if they can get something going on this drive as they head to the field now with the game this close you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now but they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play throwing on first down is Mahomes and they work this well upfield across the 45. A pickup of 24. And that's where the play began, the 24-yard line. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, They move 
and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary and I think you're exactly right wasn't his primary target found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket second and six following the pickup of four here's second and six Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. I know it's a little bit of a cliche to talk about all the tight ends who are really wide receivers in the NFL, but Travis Kelsey fits that perfectly. He led all tight ends last season with over 1,200 yards receiving, fourth in the NFL. I think he's one of the gold standards in the league for the tight end position. And I don't know if anyone has any more fun playing the game than Travis Kelsey. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. A gain of five brings up second and five at the 28-yard line. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 28, it's second and five. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. The pro bowler Tyreek Hill, the intended receiver, and it's third and five. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. The Chiefs on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and five. Looking for him again. This time it's complete. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Butker's kick here is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So with less than a minute gone by here in this fourth quarter, the field goal there gets this thing back to even. And it's setting up for a fantastic finish, isn't it, partner? It's been a well-played game, a hard-hitting game. The fans are into it. The announcers are into it. This is going to be a great fourth quarter. tight ball game we're all even at 20 now as the kicks away that'll be taken about a yard deep and they'll get him down right around the 25 actually the 26 officially so a net gain of one there the rams ready to go on offense and we essentially have a brand new ball game after that last field goal has tied us all up we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter Taylor and the Chargers come up first and 10 at their own 26. Off the play fake, he'll set up to throw it. Rush coming and he's taken down. Frank Clark fighting his way home to get the sack. 2019 was the first season for Frank Clark in Kansas City after spending the previous four in Seattle. And that was a big move by Kansas City to bring him over. He did have eight sacks in the regular season, but it was his five in postseason. And helping his team get to the Super Bowl, that's why they went and acquired him. And by the way, earned his first Pro Bowl nomination with his play. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. Chris Jones. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. And long. Taylor. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That was no 
third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. That's a big gainer on that play, and from experience, I can tell you, that's where defensive backs will come into the huddle and say, guys, how about some pass rush? But you're going to say it nicely because those big guys up front, they don't like being criticized very much. Quarterbacks in this league, you know they'll pick you apart if you give them time like that to find receivers downfield. Bringing him to the ground defensively, Tedrick Thompson. Two yards. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. From the 45 on second down, Taylor finding green complete. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The offense on third down tonight, five out of nine thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. On the give, this is Eckler. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. Just enough to get the first down there with a one-yard pickup. Brandon, this can be so demoralizing for a defense. They've had two opportunities to get off the field. They haven't gotten it done. So now your coordinator, he's going to call every blitz that he has, any type of exotic, something that they haven't seen before. And he's also telling the defensive lineman, don't worry about holding people up. Just get in gaps and try and make a big play. And not only not getting off the field on two opportunities, clock continuing to run. 14 yards is the pickup there and a Charger first down. At the 33 yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the shotgun, it's Taylor. Complete, it's Henry. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A well-executed 22-yard game. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now Taylor on first down, and this is complete. It's Allen. And here he'll get it down to the 7. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Second and six with the ball on the seven. Now Eckler and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. Makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So here comes a very important kick now for Michael Badgley. This to break our fourth quarter time. Badgley able to punch this one through. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And he'll go down 
as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. KC's offense ready to take over, and now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ballgame. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. And going deep for Hill. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick up on his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Here's second and ten. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. To throw, it's Mahomes. He'll find his running back, Edwards Alaire. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right, maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply, if you get it to him in space, more times than not, He's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Mahomes to throw once more. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Oh, I'd give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. The Chiefs on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and seven. And again, it's Mahomes. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 26. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage. And that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first. And that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. Miko Hardman, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. We've seen that the deep ball has been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Now it's Mahomes again. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. It's a game. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. That's good. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that fly. That's big time. Second down and goal, Mahomes. Oh, no, he lost the play. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. To throw is Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. A 31-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And we are all tied here in the final stages. Well, we knew this had the potential to be a tight game, but with less than three minutes to play, couldn't be any tighter. We're all tied. All locked up, right? And this next drive is going to tell us everything we need to know about this game because I want to see how they come out with the football. Are they going to be aggressive and attack downfield? You still got the two-minute warning to come up? Or are they going to be conservative and try and hold on and maybe just get to overtime? And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting up field and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard game. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots your quarter. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Ron Thornhill. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Intercepted. The Chiefs take over first. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And he can't get a throw He's taken down. The sack by big number 98, Linval Joseph. Second and 17. Back to throw. Mahomes. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Well, that answers the question in my head. They're going to go for the win right now. I think you're absolutely right. They're not content with going to OT. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Mahomes to throw. 
He's got his man. That's Hardman. And all the way down to the 26. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Edwards Alaire. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. It's good for a gain of seven, but still a few inches short here with fourth down coming up. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. Three for three so far and a fourth would win it. And it is good. He splits the uprights on the chip shot. And they'll be celebrating in the power and light district. The Chiefs have won the football game. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did.